Coffee with Friends, Virginia Greco here with a new project to share with you. Today I'm going to create a colorful layout highlighting some of the wonderful new acrylic pieces designed and produced by Bramble Fox that you can find in the shop. I really really love this rainbow in the sun, thus I'm going to create something rainbow today. I guess it's not a word actually, but you got what I mean. Um, and this is the photo that I want to use, a photo of myself. So I'm starting off with a sheet of watercolor paper from Prima Marketing. And I'm using watercolor paper because I want to create a colorful background applying watercolors. And I want to be sure that my cardstock can hold well the water. So actually the watercolor paper is the safest uh, option. Uh, my idea is quite easy, is to create horizontal stripes of colors in the center of my cardstock, um, following the right sequence of colors so in a rainbow, so from red through violet. This is actually quite easy and super fun, it's even relaxing, I had really a great time uh, playing with my watercolors. And you don't need to be an artist to do it, it's uh, quite straightforward. I don't have a very dark red, so I'm trying to create a sort of uh, darker red by mixing uh, my red with my violet, my, sorry, with my uh, pinkish red, let's say. Here I dropped some droplets of dirty water, uh, so I'm dabbing the paper with a towel to remove them. And now I want to give more interest to this rainbow background by adding lots of white splatters. So of course, first I left the watercolor to dry and now I'm diluting some um, white acrylic paint with a bit of water and I'm simply flicking my brush to create splatters everywhere in different sizes. I like them to be some very, very tiny and some bigger splotches. And this is very, very fun too, as you can see. Pay attention because you might paint everything around you, but it's a lot of fun. I put the background aside to dry. And now I'm going to work on something else. Uh, at this point, I decided that I wanted a frame for my background. And I found this adorable paper from an old Amy Tangerines collection. I believe this is the Stay Sweet one. And I'm going to cut out the center so that I don't waste paper since I need only the frame. And in addition, I'm going to use some of this paper as a layer behind the, my photo. Actually, I love when um, pattern, the same pattern or the frame is also present in the little bits in the layout itself. So now I'm cutting various pieces of scrap paper to, um, to back my photo and I want some very colorful and bold patterns behind my photo. And I believe that these are all by Amy Tangerine from different collections. Before attaching the photo to these pieces of paper, um, I want to create a soft frame for it. Um, so I'm using a glassing bag. When there are so many busy patterns, as uh, uh, this is the case, I chose very busy patterns as layers, I think that a white or soft frame helps the photo stand out more. 
so that's why I'm adding this glass in bag. And I'm also uh, obsessed by the fact that I want it to be quite uh, um, regular. I mean, I want the same amount of uh, white space on every side. Uh, this is why I'm taking all this time <laughs> to add this uh, layer. But I really, really love the effect. It's very soft, it's very nice. And as I said, it helps the photo stand out against the busy patterns. So back to my um, scraps of my pieces of pattern paper, I'm deciding how I want to arrange them uh, as layers behind my photo and now I can finally glue them together. And I'm also going to add a couple of staples. Now this is the way I think I want to arrange my layout, my acrylic pieces and these beautiful pieces by Bramble Fox. And uh, um, the rainbow is going to go on the top left corner and the title, which is going to be good stuff, uh, on the right bottom corner of my photo. And I'm also going to add uh, um, the suns and, uh, yes, more than one, and uh, um, a few arrows. I love arrows because they are as stars and hearts, they are uh, good to go on every kind of project. So first I'm gluing down my photo. As you saw, I used my T-square ruler to put it straight, more or less in the center of the layout. And now I'm going to add here first the title. And as usual, I'm removing the backing and the protective film which sits on top. Um, and you can see now the real color of the pieces, which is a beautiful dark blue, very rich and intense color. Uh, now I'm gluing down the rainbow and the sun that goes with it. And in order to make it easier for me to glue it down, I'm first fixing all the pieces together with a strip of washi tape. And this way I will be able to move uh, the whole piece, the whole shape uh, together and place it where I like. So here I have my piece all together and I'm going to give dimension to this beautiful rainbow by attaching it using some adhesive foam, which I'm cutting in little pieces because I don't want uh, the foam to be visible through the openings of my rainbow. So once I got it down, I can proceed and glue down also the arrows a couple on the right side and a couple on the left side. Again, here you can see how rich and shiny uh, is actually the surface of the uh, acrylic pieces once you remove the protective film. I'm not attaching the second sun for the moment, as you saw, and instead I'm going to add my frame to the layout. And actually, I'm not sure anymore which side of this pattern paper I want to use, since they are both beautiful and go very well with my background. So at the moment, I'm sort of inclined to use this striped side. And I don't actually want to create a real frame, I mean, not on the, on the four sides, but rather have the pattern picking out from behind the top and the bottom of my, of my uh, background. So I'm cutting these two borders, the top and the bottom one, um, quite irregularly, and I'm heavily distressing the edges. And I love how easy it is to create this look with watercolor paper, because it really um, it created this sort of, uh, of texture that is uh, fantastic. 
so still trying to decide which side I want to use and if I want to distress a little bit more these edges. So finally I have decided to go for the leafy pattern, which was my original choice. I think it's actually softer, a little bit subtler, so it does not compete too much with my painted rainbow. And so now I can attach uh, my frame uh, on the back of my um, layout. I'm also raising a little bit the distressed edges to give even more dimension. And even though I want the acrylic pieces to be the main focus of this layout, uh, because they are stunning, I felt like adding something more, and not much, but just another element of interest, let's say. So I found these colorful butterflies, which are from uh, the collection Sunshine and Good Times by Amy Tangerine as well. And I'm going to put them color on color on my rainbow, along the diagonal, opposite to the one which I put the acrylic pieces. And I'm attaching some of them directly on the background, uh, while I want to raise the wings of some other of them. And to do so, since they are stickers, I'm converting a couple of them uh, into die cuts by attaching them on a piece of white cardstock and fussy cutting them out, as I'm doing right now. Then I'm bending the wings and I'm attaching only the body of the butterfly uh, to the background while I'm raising the wings um, with foam squares. This way they are secured to the paper, to the background, and at the same time I ensure that the wings will, be, will stay raised even if, when I put uh, my layout into my page protector. Same with this other um, orange pinkish butterfly. This last one is an acetate piece, um, so I cannot use foam because it will show through. And also I cannot fix it with just a little bit of glue um, beneath its body because it would fall down immediately. So I decided to stitch it. It's easy and safe. And this way my butterfly is not going anywhere. Well, she's actually flying, but not flying out of my uh, layout, <laughs> or not flying off my layout. So now I'm gluing down also uh, my big yellow sun, which is fantastic. And I really like the effect that I created with the butterflies, because it looks like this swarm of butterflies was flying through my photo, or maybe it's just one butterfly that changed its color while crossing my rainbow, <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow, um, now I'm adding a doodly border along the vertical edges with uh, a black fine marker, just a little detail. And as a final touch, I'm going to add quite a few of these shimmer gems um, between and around my acrylic pieces. And again, I'm going color on color, as you can see. And these gems are very beautiful because they are quite sparkly. So this is going to finish up my layout and uh, I have to say that the acrylic pieces that you can find now on the store of Bramble Fox are absolutely fantastic and the new ones, the ones for spring, for April, are stunning too so really uh, I suggest that you go and have a look because you might buy lots of them. So I love how this layout turned out, I hope you like it too. Um, if you did, please give this video a thumb up and also do not forget to subscribe for continuous inspiration. 
and go have a look to the Bramble Fox shop and blog. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye!